Onshape's simultaneous bill of materials allows you to interact with your assembly design from the table. A bomb is automatically created for every assembly and can be accessed by selecting the bomb table flyout tab on the right of the graphics window. This bomb is interactive and updates simultaneously as the assembly is changed or edited. Notice, as I select the fasteners from the table, they are selected in the assembly as well. This makes it easy for me to hide show or just quickly identify the components in the assembly design. The item order in the bomb is reflective of the instance list order. If I drag components to reorder them in the instance list, the bomb updates simultaneously. There are two view options for the table, structured or flattened. Subassemblies in a structured view can be expanded or collapsed by double-clicking on the item number cell. Any property, including custom properties, can be added as a column to the table. Select Add Column and choose the needed property. In this example, I need to add material. Notice the column is added to the table and the material is displayed for all parts. You can move columns by right-clicking on a column and selecting Move Right or Move Left. You can also remove columns by right-clicking and selecting Remove Column. Bombs can be copied and exported to a CSV file if necessary from the overflow menu. Bombs can also be copied and pasted elsewhere using copy table. Notice with a structured view, you can also expand or collapse all. To exclude items from the bomb, right-click on the row and select Exclude from Bomb. That row is hidden from the table. To include an item that was excluded, select the overflow icon and choose Show Excluded then right-click on the row and select Include in BOM. To return to the main view, select the overflow icon again and click Hide Excluded. BOM columns can be sorted alphabetically or numerically by double-clicking a column header. Set how a subassembly displays in the BOM by navigating to individual subassembly properties. In the properties, Expand subassembly bomb behavior. Show assembly and component list the subassembly in the bomb and its indented components. This is the default bomb structured view. Show assembly only lists the subassembly item excluding its components. This can be useful for imported or purchased assemblies that should be identified with one vendor part number. Show components only list the subassembly components excluding the subassembly itself as though the components were inserted on the top-level assembly. This allows the use of additional grouping and organizational tools without impacting the BOM. You can also input properties right into the BOM table. Notice I missed defining a material for the upper casting and I forgot to add a description for PRT 1923. Simply select the cell and enter a description, then double-click in the material cell and select the material. Inputting or editing any properties in the BOM automatically update the properties at the part or subassembly level. Updating any properties at the part or subassembly level also automatically update in the BOM. Columns of default properties can be renamed if you are a company admin. Navigate to your company settings and select properties. I want to change quantity to read QTY. I select quantity and input the display name, then click Save Changes. Adding a display name affects all documents owned by the company. In the Preferences, BOM templates are created and managed by admins. These BOM templates can be applied by users in the assembly BOM. Expand Apply Template and choose the needed template. If the company administrator has set up custom computed part properties, those are available in the Add Column drop-down list. If the company administrator has set up aggregated assembly properties, the BOM overflow menu shows an additional option Show Top Level Assembly Row. To display aggregated values, select the BOM overflow menu, choose Show Top Level Assembly Row. Notice the aggregated line displays the sum of the cost. This line item can be hidden again from the same BOM overflow menu. In a future video, we will discuss how to include the BOM in a drawing. Onshape's simultaneous bill of materials 
offers an interactive table to quickly work with your assembly designs 